Mummification process among the ancient Egyptians. The term mummification refers to the procedure by which the bodies were preserved. Today the term mummification is much more used than embalming. At the beginning this procedure was used only for the sovereign and his family but later in time this practice was gradually spread also in the various social strata. The embalming technique was very complex and the priests had to have knowledge of anatomy to abstract extract the organs without damaging them. With a long and curved iron at the tip they extracted the brain from the nose, so as not to cut the skull and then applied a clean cut along the whole torso to extract the other organs. After the organs were extracted, the body was immersed in salt water for about 40 days to mummify it. The inside of the body was filled with scented oils and spices and then wrapped in bandages, which acted as an insulator for the air. Between the various layers of the bandage the priests inserted amulets. Some, in the shape of beetles, eyes or columns, were real jewels, intended to protect the deceased from the dangers that could have threatened him in the other world. A scarab was placed in the place of the heart. On the back it bore a chapter from the Book of the Dead, which referred to the judgment of the soul. With this the deceased was urged to his heart not to contradict him and not to lie to him before the gods. The mummy was placed in a sarcophagus, which could be made of stone, simple wood or covered with precious materials. Initially the sarcophagi were rectangular, but later they were built with human form. Even the organs were placed in the pyramids together with the body, in fact the bowels, once extracted from the body of the deceased, were washed and embalmed. Later they were placed in four vases representing as many divinities called Daughters of Horus, which had the task of protecting the organs from decomposition. These containers, with lids in the shape of a man, a jackal, a baboon, and a hawk, were made up of canopic jars. Probably their name derives from the city of Canopus, near Alexandria, where there was the cult of Osiris, adored and represented by a vase with a lid in the shape of a human head, according to another version. Canopus was a mythological character who was buried in Egypt. The canopic jars were placed in a box which, during the funeral procession, was pulled by a sled. Duumtef, one jackal head, it protected the stomach and was connected to the goddess Nita and to the east. Happy, two baboon head, it protected the lungs and was connected with the goddess Neftis in the north. Amset, three human head, it protected the liver and was connected with the goddess Isis in the south. Besenyev, four hawk-headed, it protected the intestines and was connected to the goddess Sekhmet and to the west. Life after death. The Egyptians did not see death as the end, but as the beginning. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.